Yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome into episode six of The Roast of Us. We got um, a scene change. Scene change. We are now out of today. our dining room studio and into our living room studio. Didn't we upgraded so, everybody. And now we're on a couch. Don't. Oh. God, I, <laughs> I knew that joke was going to get made. I just assumed it wasn't going to be in the first three seconds of the podcast. <laughs> I don't. You literally said the words "couch." And that's all yeah, it took. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I want to talk about something very specific from last night. Actually, right off the bat, okay, because it's been on my mind since last night. Everybody knows my wife has an obsession with Taylor Swift. There's, I love you. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> crazily right. Normally, if I was to find a woman attractive, or Here we go. or something like that, my wife wouldn't necessarily love that. We we don't act like. We don't see other attractive people or anything like that. We're not going out of our way. Well, last night, Leslie was pressuring me (laughs) for hours. It was not hours. To find Taylor Swift attractive. It was not hours. Dude. That's dramatic. You were like, did you see her in this video? Did you see her in this? Did you see her in this moment? Did you see her in this one? You have to think she's hot here. Pressuring me for some reason. (laughs) To be attracted to another woman. And it's a very odd thing for me because, don't get me wrong, I think she's all right at best. You know what I mean? And the, the reaction. Normally, if I was to say a woman is really hot, Leslie would give me that reaction. But to say she's not hot, I usually get that. It's because yeah, you're it's you just better say. wrong. It's the wrong opinion. Here's my thing. The wrong it opinion? Proves, shut your mouth. It proves to me that you have bad taste. You, and if you have oh bad taste. Listen. Then what do I really can, look like? You can argue. I've seen your ex girlfriends. Okay, we know that it's not immaculate. No, you can argue that Taylor but Swift is bad. Talented. I will allow you to have an argument for Taylor Swift being talented. Yes. Because of how many fans she has. That's an argument in itself. That's not She's an argument. It's just a fact. Eighty thousand, you know, seventy, eighty thousand person stadiums, three nights, three nights in a row, mm-hmm. every state, every state, and every city. Okay, but to think that that she's like that beautiful, no. She looks. Average, in, for sure. Like any other woman you'd see. She sure. looks an incredible. average incredible. Oh my gosh, it, incredible! I, just don't see it. I don't see it. I genuinely do not see how she is something. Who do you crazy find attractive? Special. Who is your? No- okay, no, no, no. Because now we're Catherine going on. Catherine Zeta Joe. <laughs> I'm back to it. No, man. we're not we're going back, back to it because it's not even true. Not anymore. No. Taylor Swift there is an a average fundamental. There is a fundamental question that you're not asking. Okay. And that is, what qualities are you finding attractive in Taylor Swift that he is not? Yeah. What do you find so attractive? Everything about her. About yeah, her. See, there it is. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in love. You are, and it is it, it is pretty crazy, but I just don't. Find, I think she's she's. What urges you I to mean, be attracted to her? She's yeah. average. Sexually attracted to. I I'm swear. not. I yeah. Sexually attracted Dude, to her. The things you were saying last night, I was like, dang. No. No. Damn. No. <laughs> Did you see those legs? God, I want to get wrapped up in those That's legs. That's not what I said. It, similar to things you were and saying. And then she turns to you and goes, you should want to be wrapped up yeah. in those legs too. Because he should. You, you want Taylor Swift to taste. sit on your face? No. Why the hell not? And you're like, that's normally the right answer. I feel like I'm being baited here for some reason. You're but not. I'm definitely not. But overall. That's something average. I've learned is you and I do not have the same, like, Taste, taste in women? In women. No, we don't thing. at all. I, it, you're not supposed to have a taste in women, Leslie. <laughs> you're supposed to be married to me. We don't think the same women are attractive. I agree Women you. you find that are like at the top of your list, I'm like, really? And again, it goes back to bad taste. Because if you think these women are like the pinnacle of hotness, then so where do I fall on that spectrum? Her taste is the good spectrum? taste. <laughs> it is the good taste. It's the right taste. I am a woman. I would know. What you wouldn't know. <laughs> what? What That's the worst <laughs> argument I've ever heard. Uh, yes. Dumb. What qualities do you find attractive in women? So, no, actually, no, no. even better, even better. What's the, the the similarities between Cody and Taylor Swift? Because oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Leslie. They are both nothing. Caucasian, They're strong women. Caucasian. That's it. I think <laughs> that's strong this women. Is. She's taller. <laughs> strong, independent woman. She's taller than you. Yeah, I know. Trust she's me. not the she's same. A, these are differences. These are differences. She's a, <laughs> you're missing the point. She's a blondie. Again, these are all the differences. You both have straight teeth. <laughs> Debatable. <The bar>. Debatable. <laughs> the bar is real low. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm tired of talking about oh, this. Also, while we're talking about this, though, this is a funny topic to think about because Leslie has found that she doesn't like the reasons I find women attractive. 
because I told her, depending on like what role they play or how they are in public, like with their fans, things that can determine a lot of how Cody I see. Cody just a woman. loves their personalities. You sound like a bitch. <laughs> God, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the personality goes That's into a- it a little bit. That's the for dumbest sure. shit I've ever heard in my life. It's what would not Taylor dumb say? At all. That's not dumb at all, right? And that's what that's what I tell her all the time. Listen, like, is that how listen, you look at men? Listen, I'm not. We're not talking about Taylor Swift's taste in men. It is questionable at best, and what? that has been established. So yes. it's not about. We're talking her about ta- your taste in men. Do you find is it just physical looks? Then that's what you I, find here's attractive? my thing. Here's my thing. The personality can help make a, like a mediocrely attractive man attractive but a hot man is a hot man whether he's a dickhead or not i don't See, think so i don't i don't want to i doesn't mean i, I want to be in a relationship with him it doesn't mean i want to sleep with him it doesn't mean i want to do any of those things i don't agree but to to but say that no. you are a good physically looking person at your personality has nothing to do with that but it definitely me. does yeah. i think you're the, the physical like that's why megan fox just doesn't do it for me at all and i know she as a physical woman yeah. everybody says she's so hot objectively but she's not but to me she's not but on she's my still, top but she's list still objectively hot not to there me. are people that are not just objectively me. attractive he's saying in general for me objectively yeah. she is she's she a generally should be objectively attractive, for me i should have her at my not. top five like everybody you know, like a lot of people say like top five i don't find her attractive at all really i will I, let you have it a little bit because there's been people or like guys that i found attractive and then i hear them say Tom something attractive I, I want to punch that dude in his fucking mouth. If I ever see Tom Cruise Uh-oh. on site, bitch, and I will not, punch his Here's the thing. Tooth. It's not even because, like, Scientology. Like, yeah, maybe yeah. I would say Scientology is the reason. Leslie just Gotta doesn't like face. his movies. Fuck that dude. <laughs> and she doesn't like that his tooth is in the middle of his God, face. Why is it pisses tooth her in off the so face? much. Like, the whole movie, she'll be like, it bro, if he opens me. his mouth again. <laughs> listen, listen to me. Top Gun 2, which was, like, the movie of 2022. It, it took a phenomenal me, movie. It, it took me seven months to watch it because I just fucking refuse to believe that it could possibly be that good because it starred Tom Cruise. I was pleasantly surprised. And I was mad that I was surprised and I was mad that it was as good as it was. <laughs> really and truthfully. <laughs> it's uh, fine. You know what this reminds me of, though? Some of the dumbest stuff we've argued about. Like, if you think about some of the dumbest things that we've argued about, like, the thing, the argument we just had has just nothing to do with anything important in our lives. We've had some of the dumbest arguments. Like as a married couple, I feel like everybody does. But some of the things that we've They're argued about like that. are absolutely hilarious. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And people, are our kid, our friends, are just people in our lives in general are so tired of our shit. Because we will manage to turn something that should not be anything at all. Truthfully. For example, one of the dumbest things... And one of the things that pisses me off the most and makes my blood boil, driving. I'm driving the car, right? Which doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it does. And arguing and fighting about the correct lane to turn into. God forbid, <laughs> shut up. God forbid I turn out of, I turn left lane turn, right? And I go into not the right lane. If we have a right turn coming up in the next 22 miles, it's ridiculous. Are, are you going to get that lane? Off. Are it you going to get on the right 22 lane? 22 miles. Yes, it's it 20, is. It's 20, Cody. It's 20. It's 20. <laughs> Anthony <laughs> has experienced it. I did do this it. to Anthony, too. I don't understand. No, because here's the biggest one. We're but then he tr- doesn't always do it. We <laughs> That's turned, exactly right. And he doesn't do it. Don't we hang t- up on me. No, we will, because You're you wanted to bring it up. Partner. You're supposed to be the third-party mediator here, Anthony. No, Anthony is a man of the people, and he's a man of common sense, okay? And if Anthony sees corruption... He's going to call it, it out. It doesn't wild. matter. It doesn't matter what your excuse is for why you're not in the right, the right, the correct lane. Okay, Cody, you're wrong. That's Cody's eyes. You're <laughs> That's wrong. Cody's life, though. Hey, there was somebody who was. I'm, they were in my blind spot. I don't care, Anthony. You should have been in, in there thirty minutes ago. That's... This is only two mile road. Anthony is. So <laughs> I found one thing. I've actually pissed Anthony off. This is a new thing to me. It I've never seen be. Anthony be as mad as he just was right there in that moment. You, I you I just didn't realize. That, man. I think telling Anthony how to drive. Anthony, but also, but you Anthony, get pissed off if I tell you how to drive. So that's Anthony, what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. I think everybody hates being told how to drive. But I will say, Anthony's the only person who's ever made my internal bitch come out while driving. What? Yeah, there was a moment, and we've laughed about it a hundred times. It's There's a funny. little girl inside Cody. There is, and apparently, it's terrified of dying in a car accident because we were driving along, and it was just Anthony was going to get over. He checked his mirrors. There was a truck in his blind spot. And he really started to get over. 
And I mean, it was very <laughs> close to to an accident. And I saw it before Anthony did because <laughs> I looked back there. And in that moment of I was sure we were going to get into a wreck, a, I, a scream that was more like this right here <laughs> came out of my mouth, I swear. And Anthony corrected. We almost, I mean, we really almost got into a wreck going 75 miles an hour dead. Oh, shit, you're and, going fast. Yeah, we were dead. We both kind of like adjusted ourselves because we really, it was bad to- almost for a second. we were both crying laughing. And it, well, it's because Anthony, <laughs> after everything calmed down, Anthony looked at me and said, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was really hoping you didn't hear it. It was impossible yeah. not to. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you right now, that came out uh, out of my mouth, and I immediately was, uh, I regretted that situation for sure. You know sure. something else that's dumb that we've argued about? Hmm. Your lack of faith in me to survive the zombie apocalypse with you. Yeah, and I wish I could say we didn't argue about this. No, we fought about it. <laughs> like, it almost turned into, it. like, me sleeping on the couch because I was that mad. I don't think we I was that, I was that offended. Bad. It wasn't that I was bad. Come on now. heavily offended. But, yeah, no, I immediately. I've never slept on the couch. I immediately, <laughs> and I'll, I'll state this again. In a zombie apocalypse, if Leslie was going to be with me in a zombie apocalypse, she would cause me to die. What? fuck and i believe that because i think she's not just not a help she is a liability she has no discernible skills <laughs> that is not in a zombie apocalypse <laughs> like i mean i love you in today's society you're thriving you're making me money you're like the breadwinner now i'm sitting back just spending your money in a zombie apocalypse you probably get me killed because i'm having to like go back for you every three minutes you don't think that i could rise to the occasion zero percent chance what's your what? counter argument yeah what could that you i do? think i'm excellent under pressure as a matter of fact, I say, Leslie, there's a difference. This is not a job. Pressure. What did you just say? Yeah, there's a difference between pressure and then like <laughs> a flesh death. eating monster. What is more under pressure than literal? Okay, wait, wait, wait. This matters. Are you really going to argue that? Shut up. This matters. <laughs> what kind of zombies are we talking about? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It does matter. It does matter. Leslie, it can be World War Z. Do you think you could that? That's different. <laughs> that World War Z be... zombies are different than freaking Walking Dead you're zombies. You're just trying to bring up other topics that you've heard before. So you're admitting you're a liability in a World War, World War Z. I didn't say that. I just that's said what it you said. implied. That's what it was that's implied. What you implied. So you actually believe in a World War Z zombie where they're fast and aggressive, you would survive. If it came down to protecting my children, absolutely. No, you would die would. protecting your children. I agree. You would lay down your life for your children, but your life would be laid down. The first one. And then I would and it, continue and to get raise our up. children. Yeah, like, you're done. So you're telling for me sure, I would a be a World bigger a liability than our children? Oh, no, they, I mean, well, what, maybe. Uh, because uh, I would expect you to do the right thing but are you trying to say that mckinley and bryce wouldn't be more helpful mckinley would be an absolute basket case in this but she situation. can at least like lift things i could be a help <laughs> i am a crafty you would tell mckinley in which what to way pick up. what you would tell him what, what to pick up yeah you'd tell somebody what to, What are you gonna <laughs> i am crafty so you need to be in like a leadership role you i would be what's that what's that dickhead yeah no. delegator what, what is that dickhead's name in the walking dead the 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 governor i'd be negan? like him i mean yeah i'd be like or negan also i'd be bashing bitches heads in with bats or something. other than i believe you could hit me in the head with a bat and i could get up <laughs> like you could full swing and i'd be like damn no, that no, hurt no, you I'd, no, I'd, I'd be, be right. like the governor that's to do with the eye patch yeah. Also tough and and willing to kill people. Like, I'll kill somebody. But how are you going to get to that point? I believe that if if a zombie was in front of you, first off, I don't think you could reach most zombies' heads. Effectively, like I don't think you have the power. A gun. Bullets are scarce, and also I've seen you shoot. No offense. I definitely need to be the one holding the gun. I am m- much more effective with that. That you should not have one. You get like a golf club because you're probably going to die anyways. I mean, come on now. You got some Here's my on question. It. Here's the real problem. Why am Let's I not turn protecting this... you? Why, why the <laughs> fuck am I dying before you? Shouldn't you be laying down your life to save me? No, I gotta save no. our children. That's what I'm saying. You, you're gonna, you're gonna die, and I'm gonna save our children. And you're gonna know that your sacrifice <laughs> held those zombies <laughs> off for me to get my children to safety. Your imminent sacrifice. Do you get remarried? Do I get remarried? Yeah. Fuck you. Do you get remarried? You make it to the promised the zombie- land, right? No, no, no. You met you. You know, because in those movies, there's always like there's the there's the spot. Trauma bonding. Yeah. 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 Trauma bonding. You think yeah. I? I mean, the show. No. Oh, you find some butt. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. That's what no. all this is about. You try to find somebody. 
big to produce more like, offspring to repopulate better, the no, world. It would only be like common law marriage. No, I'm going to be, be official, official. <laughs> it wouldn't be in the eyes of God. No. Are you, are you consummate? No. Are you consummating? No, it? here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. If I had the opportunity, say it into the mic next time, Anthony. No. <laughs> if I had the opportunity to, to live a life as like, a, like my, our kids are set up and like where they're raised, like say this is when they're already raised. No, nah, I want to be like a wanderer. I want to be like a, like, like book of Eli. just killing everybody. You know, all the zombies, any bad people. Yeah, that's definitely where I'm going. Isn't the Book of Eli zombies? No. Not at all. Not no, at all. it's post-apocalyptic, 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 but it's not zombies. Yeah. Did you choose that? Just to be a wanderer? Cody Without? can't take a shower by himself, and you're going to be a fucking wanderer? I hope you find a dog. I mean, no, there's, I would there's be a lot of leading a group of people. But also sure. being alone. Also, not a lot of yeah. perks in that. Yeah, I, want, I don't want yeah. emotional attachment at that point. In that yeah. point, like... I don't need any more people dying on me. I can't handle that. Cody is Cody is lying in this moment, and this is how I know. Back when you owned your own construction business, you used to pay your fucking brother when you had nothing for him to do to ride around in the car with you. Yeah, but I wouldn't sleep with him. To run errands. I'm not saying I wouldn't have a sidekick. I just wouldn't be having sex with but him. But that's also without it, you know, zombies. It's lonely. I, maybe, I, yeah. This is also, yeah, there aren't zombies for me to kill all the time. Yeah. No, I definitely, I, I definitely think that that is the case, for sure. I have to pee. We're taking a break. <laughs> All right, we're back, guys. I actually was thinking about earlier today the dumbest side hustles that I've ever tried to do in our <laughs> there's, marriage there's... to make money. The dumbest ways I thought I was going to be a millionaire, dude. There are so many. There is. I definitely go after side hustles. What is your, in your, in your opinion? I've thought about this. What is your dumbest one? And let's see if I agree. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I have uh, a worked for set AT&T of skills. for like two, three years, Verizon. That was kind of my introduction to sales, was uh, retail sales for AT&T and Verizon. Well, I got in my head that there was a massive market. Also, <laughs> oh my God, the, the thing, this is such a bad, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> there is a massive market for people needing their phone bill reduced. <laughs> I could say like I could help save you twenty five dollars a month on your phone bill by. But what do they pay you it. for this service? Listen, I had clearly. <laughs> that's a good question. And that was one of the questions I think that took my took my business. <laughs> I was like, they could pay me a portion of their savings, and saying that out loud now, oh, that's a rough rough you... thing to say. But I definitely thought that was going to be. I mean, I was like nineteen years old, maybe twenty years old. No, you were a little older than that. You were like twenty twenty one. A 20. phone bill reduction I thought it was business. a brilliant And here's idea. my thing. To my credit and to my dismay, I'm a ride or die bitch. All right. If you say <laughs> that's what we're doing, then like, Be maybe that's what now, we're doing. Because you were supportive at the time. That's the dumbest fucking <laughs> idea I've ever heard in my life, Cody. How is it even work? So what was your plan? How, how were you going to, to perform this service? Okay. So <laughs> working for AT&T and Verizon, I used to save people a ton of money, which is probably not what they wanted me to do. At AT and T and Verizon, but I would I would sell a ton of phones by working the system, knowing you know I was an expert in it and knowing how to save them money. And I did it for a bunch of my friends and family, where I would save them eighty to a hundred dollars on their phone, their phone bill. bill. And I thought there was just a service for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That I could. How are you contacting these clients? Here's the other things I could get like maybe five people done. Walk-ins only. Yeah, no, I don't know. We hadn't got, listen, I don't remember all the details of what I thought, but I did think that I could do like five or six a day and then scale up and train other people. And then I'm like, I'm literally AT&T customer service. <laughs> That's all I'm being. And it just, it was embarrassing. All, you know what it, it was takes to save money on your AT&T or Verizon phone bill? Call them. I'm canceling my service right now if you don't do some shit immediately. So, oh, I was going to do it I'm for so them. Sorry. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry, ma'am. The fuck? I was gonna have to at, make this them is add for, me. This is for people like me who are non-confrontational. It really yeah. stresses me. I was out. gonna make them add me as an authorized user on their account. I mean, it was—it's not a good idea. Okay, it just wasn't. He took this idea and made their whole app based on it. We'll save you on every expense. Hey, yeah, shut up! Don't I'd say all... their name. They haven't paid us for an ad. <laughs> I'll bleep it. I'll bleep I'll it. Bleep it. <laughs> <laughs> Only we will know. And then put it put in there after you bleep it. If you want this ad space, pay for it. And then <laughs> your ads are not rocket mortgage. Yeah. Money. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh this man, is no, unhinged. I, it's not so bad of an idea when, like, yeah. for a twenty-year-old when I was just trying to figure out things to do. I, okay, it's a horrible idea, but I liked that I was going after the something. tenacity. I was, yeah, that's I what I was to figure it out. Your account and cancel those lines for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was I gonna do if it didn't work well? You like pull uh, somebody off of something and it just wouldn't work. Well, you I mean, up front. it is good that you're trying well, to come up with something. Yeah, that's the key to it all. You, and you, I think an I, entrepreneur mindset. Yeah, exactly. and well, and and that's I have a mind something that I've talked about a few times that I think that the stages of your life and especially like your success in the beginning. And I don't really care what you do. Rarely are you ever going to be super successful out of the bat. There's going to be a time. And I believe this is how it's going to work. People will laugh at you and then they will start laughing with you. And then they will start asking questions and being curious. And that's going to be how you know you're doing the right thing. At first, it doesn't matter what idea because most people are haters and they're going to pretend (laughs) Like, like you can't do anything. There's nothing you can do. Drinking Most that people hate a raid. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hate on your idea. They're gonna be laughing at you with anybody they can find, and then you start to get some success. Start making a little money. You start having something. People start laughing with you. They want to be your friend. They wanna they wanna be every joke you tell is funny because now you have something that they want. And then as those people fade out of your life, you start having the people you care about and other people. They start to be curious. How did you do it? What did you do? And that's when you know that you've 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 succeeded in whatever you're doing. And it doesn't always mean you're making a ton of money, but that's when that was the always the progression that I went through in like my businesses. I knew there was going to be a stage, and that's the hardest stage to get through, guys. Well, and sometimes you you just have to accept that you're you might not ever get out of that stage. Yeah, some things just don't. Your business, you're going to fail, or your idea may never get out of the stage of people laughing at you, and you have to be willing to let them laugh at you the next time. But then yeah. the times they start laughing with you, you feel really, really good, and you can get you can get caught up in those moments, and become complacent, and that's where, it, I, to me, that's the scary part. I can handle people laughing at me with my ideas, and I can handle people laughing, you know, about what I'm doing. But once I, you know, they're you're, they're you're with you, and they think you're doing something good, and you feel good. You, you feel, feel like, like you've done you it. feel like you've made it. And you can yeah. relax. And when you relax and is when, when stuff you, starts to yes, slip. You've got to keep that grind until you start having people be curious. And I love this stage where people start being curious because I think that's where you grow the most. And I think that's crazy to think about. But once you get to where people start asking you questions about what you're doing, it's so helpful. Because when people start asking questions, it makes you think in different ways than you normally would. And that's why even even if you don't necessarily take people's advice ask for advice i think somebody you know because I think, it's just a different perspective no anthony specifically is the absolute best and it's not that anthony is necessarily trying to be an influencer or whatever but anthony asks fantastic qualifying questions to things whether it's something that like he's super interested in or not and it does it gives you like a different perspective on like oh shit but you have to be willing to take those questions because yes. sometimes it can feel like what are Somebody. you trying to poke a hole in everything? No. No. It, it, you have to know that when people start being curious, it's not because you're failing. It's because you're succeeding. And in those moments when they're curious and they're poking you and they're trying to figure out how you did it or why you did it or what you're going to do next. Yeah, you have to let your ego go in those yeah. situations. And then just really dive into those questions. Yeah. And once you start doing that, you'll realize all of a sudden your business is really doing well. And what you're in, not necessarily business, but like whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing if you become good enough that people start being curious about what you're doing. Well, that has happened with you, I think, a lot. I Okay, people, yeah, ask me questions, and I'm sure at the beginning of, like, when we were trying to do social media there, I'm sure there were people from high school and whatever that thought it was silly. Like, oh, my God, Leslie's trying to be an influencer, and I'm a stay-at-home. I don't have another career outside of this. Like, I don't have anything to lose. I don't really I don't really give a shit if you laugh at me. It's not something that particular, particularly bothers me. But you are in a blue-collar field. Like, you're yeah. – it is a different – who's going to talk shit to me? Nobody, because none of these girls that were laughing at me at the time are going to say anything to my face. You work in a blue collar field, and when you started growing your TikTok and started like committing to the bit and committing to the cause here, I, there was some fear there until yeah. you know what I mean. Especially when you're grinding and you're growing, because all these like older men in these plants and people that just don't know yeah, their the their percep yeah their perception of what TikTok is yeah. and what a content creator they don't they don't know it is it is not at all what that thing is. So you have to kind of grow 
past that. And even still now, I think you get some of those questions. Yeah, I mean, I think that is definitely... Or you a, get a, a couple of... Especially in our field that me and specific, like Anthony work yeah. specifically as an older, we are always the young guys. For sure. Um, we're the young guys. That's just how it is everywhere we go. And so when you talk to people who... I won't say are old because I'm no. not saying they're old, but you know, 35 plus, there's mm-hmm. a lot smaller percentage of people who are 35 plus on any social media. It's not just TikTok, but any social media. So they also have no experience with people making money through social media or anything like that. That was non-existent. No, the age of the influencer came about with yeah. our generation. Yeah. So it, I think 30 and under it, it, that you're, we're the first people like we're as, about as old as anybody. Young, we're like the young youngest of the millennial group, yeah. and like some. We're the we're the oldest old of the Gen group Z. that saw like about thirty and under right now, is the first ones that kind of saw like people in their college, like leaving college and becoming successful. Yeah. Like we were the first age group, I think, kind of that style where people were making money online before people thought it was possible. And so you have a lot of these people who they're not even meaning it in a negative way, but no. they're like, why are you doing that? It comes from like, a place oh, of not money. understanding. Yeah, ignorance. Yeah. And that is something you can, yeah, it's definitely hard at first because, because then you ever you just do? Wanna, do you ever just want to like whip your wiener yeah, out? Yeah, I was going to say, do you, you ever know? just want to like whip, whip your dick out? <laughs> uh, there's have every, you? E- they have to push me pretty far. Have like, you whipped your dick out? A few times. Yeah. Have you seen it? Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't say, I say whip my dick out. I don't mean whip my dick out. But when somebody kind of starts ridiculing a little bit and I'll be like, yeah, I mean, it's worth it. You know, I know sometimes it can be goofy or whatever, but it, it, it's, it's fun. And they're like, it, you know, you can make a good living doing it. And they're like, eh, what's a good living? I'm like, more than we make. And then that's about as far as I go. But they'll be like, what? And you're like, yeah. I mean, there is a way to make great money on the internet. And I think the, you know, it's becoming more commonplace. You're seeing articles written about it, news stuff talking about it. So I think that's a multi billion dollar. Industry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And so I think all that will fade. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing is it, even now, I know that they're, you know, uh, just because people are curious now doesn't mean there won't be people laughing at you. No. That's never going to no. go away. No. You just when you're in the beginning, nobody's curious. You know what I mean? everybody's laughing when you're trying to do something that when you're your first week of whatever you're doing, you'll have five or six people who are supporting you, who you care about and they care care about about you. you. And then everybody else is going to be laughing at you. And you got to be able to ride that wave. But then there's going to be people who are just haters forever. Yep. We still have people that just, no matter what we're, no matter how much success we'll have here, there'll be haters about it, you know? And that's okay. I think it's fine. I think you have to let it go. It used to really bother me. It used to really, really bother me. And now I'm just like, yeah but, yeah, li- yeah literally <laughs> it's been fun though i like it i like the experience i mean and that's why i love this so much is there's always something else we can be doing because that's me yeah. i'm never content i'm always looking for that next thing I, yeah. I i love being busy i love creating ideas and 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 making them come um to fruition and and having a goal and meeting it those are i love that that's that gets me going this man. this goes back to the entrepreneurial mindset no matter yeah. what it is yeah I agree. But I also have a job. It's not like I, I'm opposed to doing your nine to five. Like, I still think no. that's a great way of doing it. But yeah, I mean, I think even in my job, I have a mindset of, you know, creating new ideas and pushing bounds and being better. And that's still yeah. in the confines of a job. You know, all that still is the same as is a job. applicable to yeah, I mean, because here's areas. the thing to, to stand out in your job. Most likely you're going to have to do something somebody else hasn't done. You know, think about something outside the box. Those are still the same concepts. It's just for someone else. Yeah. You know, and I think that that's really not something that that has to change. You know, I think we can stay focused on setting goals and creating and being innovative no matter what we're doing. What's up, guys? Thank you. Hanging out. We're back. Uh, We're going to end the episode with the same way we've been ending the episodes the last couple weeks which is with kind of a throwed off group question that everybody gets to, to answer. So it's Leslie's turn. So Leslie, ask your question. What are three positive character traits you do not have? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't have. I thought you were going to say have. I was like, I can list a lot so, more no, than three. No, it doesn't necessarily have to be three, but like a few. You better be able to come up with three. Anthony, you, will, three. You, will you pull up a list? Oh, you've already yeah, got it. Yeah, okay, I've got so it up. Anthony's a list of, on it. <laughs> all right. Let's I will go ahead and list. answer first then. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, oh. three that I don't have. I can name 
15 right off the bat. <laughs> you can name 15 for you. That you don't have. That you don't have? For, that you don't have. That I don't have? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's think here. I would say... Um, Uh, organized. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm an organized person. I don't think I have. Uh, I'm very organized. Um, I definitely don't think I'm artistic. Uh, oh, geez. Any others that I don't think? I would not say. Open minded. <laughs> Open minded. <laughs> Coming from my best friend. You know what? I'm really nervous about this whole thing. Right? Because I feel like they're all being quiet because they see tin on the list. <laughs> no, I was perfectly. I was actually looking for mine, but uh, yeah, I know. think open minded is definitely a good one to end. Uh do you want to go next, Anthony? Do you feel like you have? Yeah, so I think one that I have is, is gonna be eloquence. There situationally <laughs> Hold I on, can... coming from the guy who's like in two thousand one when I first saw the Shrek, <laughs> the whore's bath, like you're the, definitely the most eloquent guy in here for sure. If you're not eloquent, who is? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. Me, bitch. I, no. I can be. I turn it on I was and about off. to say, Carlton's pretty eloquent. I turn you it on are too. You're so well spoken in front of customers. I'm sorry to interrupt you. and I'm, I, Why am I stroking you right now? But like, God. don't get me wrong. I have five up there I thought of you on, but no. <laughs> But that one really it shows to your insecurities because you are killing it with eloquency, in my opinion. For a Texan, oh, Arkansas yeah. For area, a Texan? For a Texan. dude, because Texans are you all redneck idiots. piece of shit. <laughs> Don't get me wrong; I wouldn't say we're the most well-spoken group of individuals. Speak for yourself. I'm yeah. not a Texan, so yeah, <laughs> not another one. I'm okay. not. Is I wasn't born here. I struggle with being impartial. So mm. impartial. Yeah. Okay. If I know somebody. If I feel like I have a relationship with you, it's very hard for me to... To detach. Yes, that's it. And sometimes that means in a negative connotation. So Mm -hmm. if I feel that you are not a good person, there's partiality in a negative way. Oh, so you're impartial based on morals. So you, if you, even if somebody's right, but you don't think they're a moral person, it'll make you impartial. Is what you're saying? Mm Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. I didn't Mm. even think about that as a bad thing. I kind of thought that was a good thing. Like, screw the people who are immoral. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cody also Your ideas lacks are invalid. basic human empathy. Oh, yeah. Well, you want to tell them? I think Leslie wants to take this idea and just no. tell them all of my traits. Carlton, do yours. No, I actually want to hear what you think of Cody. Of Cody? Oh, no, yeah. we're not doing this. <laughs> I love this. This is such you a better question. No. I love being roasted. This is couples Y'all therapy. Y'all pick two. Everybody picks two. Everybody for picked Cody? in this room for me. Okay. And, but don't uh, okay. tell each other. And I want to see if they're the same or they're different. All right. Oh my gosh, why did I do this? <laughs> I already got mine. You already got yours. It, Carl, that was too fast. I already got. It <laughs> was so fast. I got him. I got him. Okay, Anthony well, is my I, only true friend. What? He's I taking said time until yet. you. I'm he- taking time and thinking through my rebuttal. When I say that you don't have a positive character trait, I want to lay it out there just. This Wham! is why. Because <laughs> you know that I won't listen. <laughs> he wants a trifle. So that just... brings me to the first one. Understanding. You're not very understanding. Okay. What's the other one? Okay. The other one, not very reasonable either. <laughs> I am a stubborn son of a gun. <laughs> what were wow. yours? It's funny because understanding was one of mine too. But not like you. You definitely understand what people are saying, but you don't understand meaning you don't accept oh, yeah. what they're saying. I, I know yes. what you're saying. I yeah. can I can understand what you're saying and it can still be wrong and I yeah. can roll with it. <laughs> exactly. And I don't um, understand that. Why would you be true. wrong? It's true. Very much so. What's your second uh, one? My second one is flexible because like put your leg up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you don't mean that. <laughs> He's not flexible mentally. Yeah, He's like about well, physically. I can't, I can't even touch my oh, shoulders. Man. No, and it was uh, the, I, the, I the real one was open-minded though. Yeah, that's why I threw yeah. it out. But yeah. like, it's not like bad. It's just it's no. True. I agree. I'm you very know, I'm very passionate about my own thoughts. Exactly. And so it's hard to pull me away from. I agree. Yeah. Cody and now the wife. This one's the one's gonna hurt. Cody is neither polite nor careful. Hmm. Oh man, that's I didn't even think about those two. But you I think those are even more than the other ones. Polite, I would agree. Angry bull in China. You cabinet. are yeah. not careful. Yeah. And you're not that focused. 
I'm not saying you can't like put your blinders on and be focused oh, on yeah. a task. I have ADHD for Just sure. by Bad. default, he's yeah, he's unfocused. He's uh. You know the funny thing is. I can fake all of them when I need to, though, and I think that's part of the problem. It's called masking. It's because... Yeah, <laughs> yeah because, like, when I need to... Here we go. <laughs> I definitely can. Never Hold mind. up. I'm not going to psychoanalyze my... I'm not going to psychoanalyze I haven't heard about this. Please explain. Masking? masking? I'm sorry, but It's I when you have, no. like, there's different, like... ADHD is a disability. You know, ADD, you have, like, autism is disabilities, and it's putting on a mask to, like, front... Basically, to help blend into society. It's more common with, like, people with autism and things like that, from what yeah, I understand. Yeah. Please do not crucify me in the comments. I do not mean this like, to be insensitive. This is what I have been, like, information that I have been relayed. Yeah. I, I've become a master at it, for sure. In, in what I do for a living, yeah, because I... Cody I, is I, an Y'all are right. Cody is an not expert understanding. Cody is an expert chameleon. Yeah, for sure. Truly. And I, and I don't mean that that you're fake. Yeah, no, because I just... Because in your core, in. you are who you are, but you are so easily able to just put on... You are whoever you need to be for the time you need to be that person. I think the term you're looking for is divergent. Di- really? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I, I, I think we'd both be divergent. Did yeah. I get away with this without having to do mine? No. Nope. Trust me, I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Les. <laughs> are you going to do mine then? No, no. Yes, yeah. yeah I you. love you, but you cannot handle it. Ooh, that's one of mine. That's then. one of yours for sure. I don't know what that word is, but not. I can take word. constructive criticism. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> there it is. The first one immediately okay. mad. I am not. Oh god, I'm so perfect. I can't think of any. No, I'm just kidding. I am not. In that case, everybody think no. of two. <laughs> I am not easygoing. I agree. I am not. Um. Very flexible in not the physical sense, but in like the real flexible in the physical sense. Oh my god! (laughs) (laughs) I am not flexible in terms of like planes and things like that. It sends me into an absolute tailspin. Um, Things have to go to plan. I am not organized. You said that for years. I'm also not organized. Oh yeah, I agree. If you look at the house, not in the camera. We're not working. See, I'm agreeing, and you're getting mad. That's why we can't. You don't talk. You don't talk about my house being dirty. You, you can, don't agree with me. Her house. You don't talk about it. You're just a tenant here. It's, we are not organized. Look at any closet we have. And I'm not cooperative. Oh, you did four. You are cooperative. To who? Listen. I make you. No, I'm just kidding. No, you're cooperative. I think you actually work well as a team. I think I work less as a team than you do. If you're not cooperative. Oh, God. What do you think mine are? I I agreed with, so, uh, let me think here. Organized. Who term, came up with this list? Flexible. I don't know. I, I found it on the internet. It was I me. found some better lists than this. There, a man. lot of these words are like cousins. They're not exactly the same. Hold on. I was, I was, I was choosing from that. I was using yeah. that. I was using We're that. Not I want to know what mine are. I want to know what no. y'all think mine Yes, you no, are. I'm not doing it. Yes, you are. Fit. I'm not doing it either. I'm not doing it. Um, I am not doing it But fast. I'll give you my three that I have for me. I think that was worse. Okay, Carlton's is last um, one. So, and I have to explain this one. I'm not kind. I'm nice, but I'm not kind. I immediately thought that for you. Because I think kind is like, it's overwhelming. Like, in everything I do, it's it's caring about others around me, and I'm not that way. I, I think, feel like I have the opposite. I'm, I'm kind. Nice. I am not nice. See, See, I'm nice. I, Me and you, I think, I when I saw that, I thought kind as well, possibly for mine. Yeah. And and I think we have the same things. Like, we can be cordial. We can be nice. Oh, yeah. But yeah, kind. I think kind is like when, when someone, when you look at someone, they're like, you're like, oh, man, they're an angel. That's kind. It's like lacking empathy. But if, yeah. Well, I have empathy. No, but, but we have it. We have it, but, but I, think I don't less tap than into the average it. Yeah. person kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I feel, I have to, I have to almost make myself feel empathy. Cody's a sociopath. You and me are same. It, it sounds so. like the same way, you know, I'm capable of happiness, but I'm not a happy person. You <laughs> sound like Ted Bundy, bitch. Listen, okay. Continue, I, Carlton. Finish your um, bit. But the next one is, is organized. I, it seems I have it all together sometimes, but I don't. I'm really just just on the fly, killing it, you know? <laughs> what a yeah. flex. Yeah, Leslie, weird flex. So aggressive. It's okay. That's a hater right I there. I am. That's a <laughs> Laughing at you. Yeah, that's okay. And I, I accept that oh, stage. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, and also, um, there's there's a few, honestly. I mean, I'm. let me, let me give you one more. Uh, let's go with... I wouldn't call you quiet. 
Oh, I'm not quiet. That's a, that's up there. Yeah, that's that's a, I don't dumb. know why that's, that's a, a that's dumb a one. stupid. Well, that's I not think, a positive trait. That's listen, dumb. listen, it could definitely be a positive. Knowing when to listen, shut your well, mouth. Well, yeah, I can do that, but that's that's just a dumb one. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with thorough. I like to. Yeah. Because I'm so on the fly most times, not everything is is thorough. It may be done, but it's not. I can relate to that. It's not full. You know what yeah. I just you realized? Know what I'm I just said yeah to like all of y'all. So I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All of you guys, so yeah. You have, so, so you have 12. I didn't even we mean it like that. But, hey, listen, I do think it's really good, though, to do this in general. Yeah. To have a sure. conversation this like this. This is healthy. Because if you can't. But they won't do mine. No, for sure. No. You're not ready for it, Leslie. Well, I love you. Honestly, but. I could because I don't, I don't sleep here. But yeah, I don't want to get What stabbed. are mine, Carlton? Huh, I promise look. not to so, be So thanks for stopping by the uh, podcast. It's been a good one. <laughs> I prefer to keep my best friends alive. So we're going to end it today. Please like. Follow, subscribe, and thank you for sticking around to the end. And we're all going to live till tomorrow. Unless zombies come, then Leslie's gone today. And I'm dead. (laughs) Bye, guys.